David, you're the winner of the 2014 World Design Impact Prize. Uh, you won this for the ABC Shringe, uh, which is the behaviour changing uh, Shringe. Um, a very novel idea, a very simple idea. Where did this idea come from originally? What, what made you think of uh, uh, coming up with a product like this? The project began back in 2011 and I was sort of researching uh, patient safety in a kind of global context and um, part of the World Health Organization's patient safety group um, has a list of research challenges and I think number five on the list was unsafe injection practices. After hearing that 1.3 million people die each year and it transmits life-limiting bloodborne diseases, I decided it was a kind of design challenge that was a perfect fit um, because 35 billion syringes are produced each year uh, costing three cents and it's a real tough design challenge. And where did the idea for the colour change come from? Because you obviously have to, you obviously needed to think of something that would tell the user this has been used before. Yeah. Where did that come from? The whole um, project was driven by uh, us preparing a bid for the Wellcome Trust Translation Award. Originally we were going to do a project to understand the problem more deeply, but the nature of this call uh, meant that we had to conceive an innovation really quickly for the basis of the bid. And the key problem we identified is that when you compare a sterile syringe out of its packaging and one that has been washed by a doctor or been uh, reclaimed through landfill scavengers, how do you know which one's the clean one, which is the safe one? Mm -hmm. So we were looking at frugal technologies to actually deliver a difference so that we're making invisible risk visible. And that empowers literate people and illiterate people to make better risk decisions. Part of the original uh, project team when we were preparing a bit was uh, Andrew Mills from Queen's University Belfast mm -hmm. and he's a specialist um, in material science and working in the field of colorimetric inks for the past 20 years. So he had a, a, a broad knowledge of these inks and experience. They're proven inks used within the food industry, so it's a proven technology uh, and also modified air packaging, but it's the application and the context that's unique. And where do you see it going from here then? So you come up with the idea, do you see yeah. it in, uh, into the market? Uh, Basically soon? over the past two years we've developed uh, an effective innovation strategy. The next step, um, because it was featured on CNN, we had a whole host of uh, commercial inquiries from around the world, from uh, Nepal to Dominican Republic to South Africa, Nigeria, uh, to China and India. And uh, we're just putting these people on hold until uh, the university itself can make uh, a decision about the next steps. With all the uh, project work in the School of Art and Design, it's about impact, having a tangible benefit on sort of humans and uh, uh, everyday lives, really. That's going to be the primary focus point for us. And um, I think for me, personally, if we can prove its feasibility and overcome some of the technical challenges, it'd be great if we as a university could just give it away for others just to adopt and use the technology rather than trying to recoup uh, a financial reward. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.